All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and explain what's expected of the math here in the clinometer project. If you see here, I already have a diagram set up. Here's the representation of you um, with the clinometer, where you're going to have your um, line sights to the top of an object, to the bottom of an object. You have an angle of elevation and an angle of depression. In this example, our angle of elevation is 18 degrees right here and our angle of depression is 11 degrees which is right here and our distance from the object is 15 feet 9 inches now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to calculate angle A angle B angle C side A side B and side C and all of this you have to use law of sine law of cosine um, you also have to use some basic trig and some basic geometry once you have all that done, then we're going to ask you to find the area of the actual triangle that's made here. We're going to ask you to do it two different ways. Now you have six objects, so you have a cho you'll be able to do three with the formula of the one half a b sine c, and or and the with Heron's formula, the one with the s. Uh, we have to calculate your s using your three sides. So let's just go ahead and dive in on starting this problem project. Alright, so as you can see here, I got the, I've made the thing a little smaller so I have some room to work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and figure out my angles B and C and A. Well, what's nice about the dotted line here, this is a horizontal line and your object is 90 degrees to the earth, which is also going to be a horizontal line. So as you're standing down here, you have another horizontal line, and these are parallel, and they're the same length. And segment BC here is perpendicular, so this actually makes 90 degrees. So to find angle B, all you need to do is simply do 180 minus 90 degrees plus 18 degrees. When you do that, your angle B turns out to be 72 degrees. To find angle C is the same thing. This is also perpendicular. That's a 90 degree angle. So to find angle C, you would just simply once again do 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus your 11 degrees. When you do that, you will get a total of, it will be 79 degrees. So within our triangle, we now know angle C is 79 degrees, and we know angle B is 70, 72 degrees. Now we need to go ahead and calculate A. I'm going to calculate um, little a, but we're going to have to do this in segments. First thing we need to do is our distance is 15 feet 9 inches. We need to get this all into inches. Now, I'm not going to do this on the video, but you're going to have to take three of them. Well, I think five of them, somewhere in there, whatever we decide. You can keep it in inches, but we will want you to convert one back to feet and inches. But first thing we need to do is convert 15 feet 9 inches into actual total inches. The way that I do that is I go ahead and I do my 15 feet. I want to multiply that by 12 inches per one foot. Your feet cancel. That will give you a total of 180 inches. And then I just add my 9 inches. So I'm actually 189 inches away from the object. Alright, so... We have our, our distance away from the object, 189 inches. And now we need to calculate A. What we really need to do is calculate right here and right here. They're going to be different lengths, but then we'll be able to add those two together to find A. The way we can do that is we have two right triangles. The side that we're looking for is opposite of my 18 degrees on my top triangle here. I'm looking for this side. Opposite is 18 degrees. 
I know my adjacent side. Well, the trig functions that we know with right triangles, we can do tangent because tangent of any angle is going to equal opposite over adjacent. So we can go ahead and set up and start solving. So we can take tangent, we can take tangent of 18 degrees, that's going to be this top triangle that I have over here, and that has to equal my opposite side, which is that height sub 1, divided by my distance from the object, which is 189 inches. Here, we just go ahead and multiply both sides by 189. So we will have 189 inches times tangent, 18 degrees. And that's going to equal that top part, h sub 1. When I go ahead and calculate that, I'm going to get that my h sub 1 is, it's approximately 161.41 inches. We repeat the same procedure. We're going to use tangent to find my height sub 2, my h sub 2 on the bottom triangle. Here, we're going to go ahead and do tangent of 11 degrees, because that is the bottom angle in the bottom triangle. My angle of depression is going to equal my height sub 2 divided by my distance, which is 189 inches. Multiply both sides by the 189 you have 189 inches times tangent of 11 degrees, and that's going to be my height sub 2. When you do that, you're going to get approximately, my h sub 2 is approximately 36.74 inches. Now to find little a, all we need to do at this point, my little a, all I need to do is I need to add my 61.41 inches plus my 36.74 inches, and that's going to give me a total of 98.17 inches. So now that's little a. So if I go back and I take all this information, I have 72 and 79 degrees. I know my a is... 98.17. I'm going to go ahead and label it. I'm going to so now I know my A is 98.17 inches. I know that My angle B is 72 inches. So we put that in there. And we know my angle C is 79 inches. So we've got that put in there. So we have A, we have all our angles B and angle C. Angle A is pretty straightforward. All you simply need to do is add 18 and 11 together, which this will give you 29 degrees. So my oblique triangle here now is essentially as angles of 29, 72, and 79. And I know one side, which is side A, at 98.17. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and calculate side C. And to calculate sine C, I want to use law of sine. So let me go to another screen here. Move it over. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate side C and side B. We're going to use law of sine to find side C. The first thing we can do is we can just go ahead and set up our proportions. We know 
that by law assigned 98 Point one seven divided by sine of 29 degrees because you're going to take the opposite side of the angle and you're going to basically set up a, a proportion. That's going to have to equal side C divided by sine of its opposite angle, which is 79 degrees. When we go ahead and we can cross multiply, Really, I just multiplied both sides by uh, sine of 79, so I would get 98.17 times sine of 79 degrees divided by sine of 29 degrees. And from here, you would just put this in the calculator. When you do this, your little c is going to equal 198.77. So I'm going to go ahead and go put this back in on my original right here. So c is 198.77. So now what's left is we have to calculate b. And to calculate b, we're going to use law of cosine. 